actually, River Auto was the first reintroduction project that I was involved in. I just obtained my first biology job with the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency. Uh, that was back in 1982. Our first auto release then was in 1984. Uh, we got our otters from Louisiana, and uh, the first ones that we got, we put radio transmitters in them to make sure they were going to survive in our area. We tracked these otters for about 18 months, and uh, they, they did very well. Uh, the winter after we released those first otter, it hit 24 below zero uh, up in Crossville, and the Ovid River froze over completely. I was a little bit worried about them, uh, but they never missed a beat. The otter uh, greatly reduced populations of, of uh, carp and things like that that would, might have been injurious to the native fish. Uh, they also thinned out some of the native populations to the extent that people fishing in our streams now are telling me that the fish they're catching are larger fish. So the, the ecosystem tends to be a lot healthier, a lot more like it was intended to be or had been, you know, historically now. And I think that's kind of an ultimate experience for anybody that's interested in the wildlife business. Uh, you take something that is gone or, or very uh, limited in its population and uh, we're in the uh, production end of the business uh, and seeing them come back and to proliferate and expand into the, you know, virtually every cranny in the state of Tennessee, uh, it's just, uh, that's what you're here for and that's, that's what you want to do with your life. I love to watch them play and roll around in there. Uh, I think this is going to be a very popular exhibit for the Tennessee Aquarium, and, and rightly so.